We are seeing the engagement of private sector in ways that we hadn't done before. Large corporations are coming to the table with us to talk about procuring renewable energy for their operations and giving signals to the market that investment in renewables is a wave of the future. We have seen an enormous explosion globally um, and, and certainly in the U.S. In, the, in corporate purchases in the last few years. And I think people just don't know that. So part of it is awareness. If they knew, I think they would then start to take the time to, to look at it. What we'd like to do is make sure it's cost effective and actually drive new renewables onto the grid. And that requires opening up market access, which means policy changes of some sort. I think what we can see as a business is really that this is, of course, we want to be a good corporate citizens and be a responsible business, but this is really about the business case. It's doing the calculation and the business case, looking very firmly on the return on investments, and I think then it makes sense to invest in renewable as well. If we generate power from fossil fuel, then it generates carbon dioxide. And that in time to come would definitely be taxed. So if you also factor that into account, then earlier the better for solar power or any other renewable power. And then you are able to mitigate the risk. Some businesses do it because, you know, they're concerned about potential volatility of energy prices and one of the great things about renewable energy is because most of the cost structure is set by the capital up front it's easier to talk about a, a predictable energy price in the future. Um, other companies are doing it because, like us, they, they've made this commitment to, to climate science and science-based targets and it's a very powerful way of delivering on it. Um, you know, others do it because they just want to have more control over their supply chain or you know, they've got a lot of cash on their balance sheet and they need somewhere to park it. So th there's lots of different reasons a company could, be, could choose to do this. For the European Union, the investment needs in our energy system are enormous. It is impossible to fund it out of the public budgets. We can only achieve success if the private sector is mobilised. That means the financial sector, that means corporate sector, and it means you and me as actors in the energy system. So these are all extraordinary things that are happening as part of the Paris Agenda, which are really giving us a very positive perspective that we can achieve decarbonization, we can achieve the change that we need, but we can do it on the basis of a positive business model, and we can do it on the basis of investment and employment and growth, and that we can have a safe future while protecting our eco economic growth.